let's use this business schema we created in last session to do some analysis so one of the analysis which is very common is uh, doing uh, reports like year to date this year year to date last year and so on right so uh, we have all the attributes here to do that so let's try that so maybe for uh, product let's do it for say category product category and then let's bring in a revenue and this is aggregated table by aggregated table i mean this one so anytime you have a dimension here and measure here it's gonna sum that measure by that dimension so this is total revenue by product category say i also need to see a revenue year to date for each category so i can i can drag and drop revenue here and then you can use this measure filter here now what i can do here is i can bring in year and then let's say year is equal to i can say current year and press enter okay it's very important you type the whole thing and press enter and click on filter so this is showing me revenue for current year okay total revenue is 36 million and revenue for this year is 2.5 but i want to see revenue year to date there might be revenue here, which is probably in future dates and so on <laughs> in the sample data it is like that we have revenue for future dates as well so i should also filter it by date smaller than equal to current date so let's bring in date and we can do something like uh, smaller than less than equals current date and uh, there you go right and we can save this now uh, this is year to date revenue current year and of course we can name this ytd revenue current year okay uh, similarly we can we should be able to do ytd revenue uh, previous year and then do comparison growth whether it's increasing decreasing what's going on and so on now uh, if you do it like this uh, it's okay to do it to, if you're learning to see how you apply measure filter and so on but i will never recommend you to do it like this we should always try to uh, design it in such a way so that it's reusable i would like to define this somewhere in business view and then reuse it everywhere define it once reuse it everywhere that's why uh, using business schema and business views is so important so let's see how you can do that there will define ytd revenue for current year as well as previous year and then we will also do difference between these two to see the growth whether it's positive negative and so on 